Hi, in this demo we'll perform the following actions. We'll offline a data aggregate and then delete it. Then we'll zero all spares and create a new aggregate with two RAID groups of six disks each. We'll change the max RAID size to seven and then we will add seven new disks. The new RAID group will have six disks because one disk is used to fill out the last RAID group of the list and we will fix the difference. So we first offline the aggregate so we run agar offline node 2 agar 1, which is a data aggregate that is connected to node 2. Then we delete it. So we run agar delete node 2 agar 1. And obviously we should not forget to zero spares, because if we don't do that, creating a new aggregate may take quite some time. Then we create a new aggregate for node 2. It's going to get 12 disks and the rate group size will be 6. Then it wants us to confirm the creation of our new aggregate with 12 disks for RAID group 0 and RAID group 1, with two parity disks per RAID group. Now let's use a command from the node shell to get a pretty cool view of the RAID groups and the number of disks in it. So we run agar status r from the node shell, so we see that we have RAID group 0, and we've got RAID group 1, and we have four parity disks and eight data disks in total. Now we change the max RAID size to 7, and add seven new disks to the aggregate. So we run agar modify aggregate node 2 agar 1 and the max RAID size will be 7. And then we add seven disks to the aggregate. And as you can see it tells us that it will add one disk to RAID group 1 which will give us seven in total in that RAID group and it will create a new RAID group of six disks. So let's do that. We confirm and now we check how many spares we've got left because we need to add two more disks to equalize the RAID groups. So we list the disk with container type spare, and that should be enough. So we add one disk to RAID group 0. Okay, and then we check the outcome and confirm. And finally, we add one more disk to RAID group 2, which will also make it 7. So we add one disk to RAID group 2, and we're done. And we list the aggregate status once more, and we see we have three RAID groups, and each RAID group has seven disks in total. Finally, I listed the most important commands that we used in this demo.